I think one of the most surprising numbers that uh, I saw during this last month, um, and a continuation of a trend, or what seems to be uh, be a trend developing, auto sales. Auto sales peaked at 18.5 million units in February, I believe. And uh, as of August, we just got this number this week, they've dropped to 13 million units. Now that's at an annual rate and that's a US only number. That is a 30% decline and that's not annualized. If we annualized it, it'd be like a 60% decline. Now the auto manufacturers are blaming chip shortages and the chip shortages are real. We know that. Uh, technology spending has taken off and most technology requires uh, chips. Uh, but I do not believe that the uh, auto market has truly weakened that much. Um, I, I think what's beginning to happen is consumers having bought a, a lot of cars in the last year to avoid mass transit, a lot of them being used, uh, they're now sitting back and saying, okay, I've already got my car. So the inventory is not on the dealer lots. Many people were quick to tell me on Twitter that couldn't I see the dealer lots are empty? Of course. Uh, of course, there's a chip shortage. Um, but maybe the inventory is in the consumer's driveway or garage. Uh, that's, that's one thing that we think could be the case or, and, or, uh, maybe consumers are saying, hmm, for my next purchase, given the total cost of ownership has come down and is now below uh, where gas-powered vehicles are, maybe I will buy an electric vehicle. Um, and, uh, uh, and so there could be a pause uh, in auto buying uh, because of the technology shift that is underway. Uh, we believe that uh, electric vehicle sales are very strong right now. Certainly Tesla's last report uh, suggested so. Um, and, and, and it could be that there's a shortage of electric vehicles, but, uh, we would not be surprised if there is a brewing inventory buildup in, uh, gas powered vehicles. They may not be in the dealer lots. They're probably in the garages or driveways of consumers. And I do think there's a reassessment on the part of consumers, uh, especially because sticker prices, uh, uh, are, are falling so rapidly in the electric vehicle space. And we're seeing more subsidies, uh, which in some states means that the, the sticker price for, uh, or the price for an electric vehicle is now below, uh, the price for a, a like for like gas powered vehicle. And as you know, we have been saying for quite some time, uh, based on Sam Corus's work and Tasha Keeney's work in electric vehicles, autonomous vehicles, uh, we have been saying for some time that we believe electric vehicle sales will scale from 2.2 million last year, uh, to 40 million in 2025. Uh, and our, um, our early estimates for this year are something in the 3.8, 3.6 to 3.8 uh, million range. So think about that. You've got auto sales in total dropping from eight and a half uh, million at an annualized rate to uh, 13, while electric vehicles are up roughly at 50% or more. Uh, so I think there's something going on out there with uh, gas powered vehicles. We will get confirmation uh, on this. And in some ways we are already starting uh, through the Mannheim used car index. The Mannheim used car index shot up last year, 61%. Again, consumers were scrambling to get uh, cars used or otherwise uh, to avoid mass transit. So big burst there. It peaked in, uh, the, the Mannheim index peaked in May, uh, at roughly 200. It's down to, uh, 193.7 right now. These are biweekly numbers. We have them through mid August. Uh, so, uh, we'll see what happens uh, with the next report. 
If there truly is a trip chip shortage and that is the reason uh, and the only reason that uh, uh, auto sales are down this much, then the Mannheim used car index price should go up again. If it continues to go down, uh, we, we believe that um, uh, this, this brewing theory about gas power to electric uh, accelerating here is, is probably correct. 